Hi friends, it's story time. Emperor's new clothes. Long ago, there was a powerful emperor. He was very rich and he only cared for about how exactly he looked. He was not a good leader. He invested a lot of money on nice outfits and jewelry. Many merchants visited the palace. They expected to sell the emperor their own beautiful outfits. One day, two tailors arrived at the palace. These tailors were not genuine. They wanted to cheat the emperor. Our clothing is really unique. It can only be seen by intelligent people, said the tailors. They pretended to hold beautiful clothing in their hands. The emperor saw absolutely nothing, but he wanted to appear wise. Yes, it really is wonderful, he said. You must make me a suit. The men set up a workshop in the palace. They loaded tables along with empty spools of thread. They acted like they were weaving yards of cloth. Every day they acted to work on the lavish suit for the emperor. A week later, the emperor sent a deputy to see the tailors. The deputy entered the room, but he couldn't see any fabric. See how excellent our clothes are, sir, said one tailor. The deputy did not wish to appear stupid and said, Yes, it is wonderful work. The deputy went back to the emperor's chambers. Your Highness, the new clothing is outstanding, said the deputy. It will be the perfect outfit you have ever worn. The emperor was very happy. A week later, the emperor was informed that the clothes were completely ready. The men stood before the emperor and his court holding the new suit. There was clearly nothing to see, but they all pretended to appreciate new suit anyway. The emperor removed his robes. He stood in his undergarments while the two tailors dressed him in the make-believe suit. Your Highness, the tailor said, no one has ever appeared so good. The emperor handed the tailors a huge bag of gold. They then immediately escaped. The emperor could not wait to show off his new outfits. He gathered his coat and stepped into the town. As he marched through the street, people stopped to stare. The emperor was delighted. My new clothes are superb, he said to his deputy. No one can look away. Soon whispers and giggles spread through the crowd. One little boy walked into the street and pointed to the emperor. The emperor isn't really wearing any clothes, he yelled. The townspeople started to laugh. The emperor had been fooled. He hurried back to the palace. The emperor learned that it is far better to be sensible ruler rather than a well-dressed one. The End